All right, so let's take a look at the first AP free response question from the 2023 AP exams. This looks like it's the AB and the BC first question here. Now, uh, the solutions aren't out for several months still. So these are just my best guess at the solutions. If I have any corrections or mistakes that I make in the video, I will put them as a pinned comment below. So we have a customer at gas station is pumping gasoline into a tank. The rate of flow of gasoline is modeled by this function here, okay, where it's measured in seconds. Using correct units, explain the meaning of this in the context of the problem. So if I integrate the rate, the rate of flow of things coming in, the rate is the, the integral of that rate is the amount of change. So I would say the integral from 60 to 135 F of T dt is the number of gallons Um, that flows, uh, flow that flows into a gas tank, into the gas tank from T equals zero to, sorry, 60 to 135 seconds. Okay. So just a little bit of interpretation like that. Use a right Riemann sum with three sub intervals to approximate the value. So they're telling you the interval widths are from 60 to 90. That interval width is 30. Then from 90 to 120, that interval width is 30. And then from 120 to 135, that interval width is 15. And to do your Riemann sum, you would approximate it by that width times the right interval, the 0 0.15, plus the width of this interval, or the width of the rectangle, times this height here. On that interval, we'd put 0 0.1. And then the interval width is 15. And the height is going to be the right point of that interval is 0 0.05. And so that's going to be 30 times 0 0.15 plus 30 times 0 0.1 plus 15 times 0 0.05. You get 8.25 gallons. Must there exist a value of C such that F prime of C is equal to zero? So this is asking about the derivative of this function. Must that value is the intermediate value or mean value theorem? In this case, because I'm asking you the derivative is zero, that's saying that I want, you know, for mean value theorem, it's where you want the derivative is equal to F of B minus F of A over B minus A. Okay, so that's probably what we're going to do because it's about the derivative as opposed to the original function. So um, 120 and 60, you can see like this slope is going to be zero, but let's write out the entire process. So first of all, to invoke the mean value theorem, I have to say that it is continuous and differentiable. They tell you that it is differentiable, so you would say f is differentiable. That's already known, and that implies that it is continuous. Okay, and then we would say then <clears throat> we would say f of b f of say 120 minus f of 60 over 120 minus 60 is going to be 0 0.1 minus 0 0.1 over 60, which is going to be zero. And then you would say by the mean value theorem, there exists a c such that c is between 60 and 120 and f prime of c is going to equal zero. So you want to do this calculation and you want to show that that's equal. You also want to establish the conditions and you want to invoke the name there. The rate of flow of gasoline in gallons per second can also be modeled by this equation for zero to 150. Okay. Using this model, find the average rate of flow of gasoline. So they want the average of what? Average of the rate of flow. So if I want the average value, right? I want to average from zero to 150 this function because I want the average of g of t and then I'm going to divide it by the interval width. And now we're just going to use a calculator for uh, that part and kind of the easiest way I like to do calculator questions when you have this is I like to put that into y equals. So then I'm going to say this is x over 500 times cosine of x over 120 and then I got to square that part and then close the cosine. And then let's just check that we're in radian mode. That's correct. And so then we're going to do the integral. So we're going to do math fn integral from 0 to 150. 
and we're going to use the vars, y vars, do, 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 over dx. And then ultimately, we have to divide this by 150. And so I'm going to get 0. Oops. Uh, let's freeze that on the screen. Oops. 0 0.096. And that is in gallons per second. Using the model in G to find the part C, find the value of G prime of 140. So we'll just compute that by doing the n derivative of x of this variable, this function variable y1 at 140. So we say G prime of 140 is equal to negative 0 0.0049. And that is in units of, let's see, we'll always put the units. Because this is in gallons per second, when you take the derivative, it's going to be gallons per second squared. Okay, and then, so that's going to be my answer. And then your interpretation is that G, the, the, rate, the, the rate of flow of gasoline is... And the interpretation of the derivative in this type of rate is it's decreasing by 0 0.0049 gallons per second, per second squared. All right. 